Welcome to another video. This time we've got Power Up. This is an Xbox Live Arcade game, recently come out, created by Psychotic Software, which is literally a one-man band, uh, a guy called Mike Hansen. He, I think he spent like the last year kind of creating the game, um, started off as a little kind of hobby, trying to learn how to kind of make a game and all the audio and stuff. As time's gone on, he's got deeper into making the game, and then he had to resort to Kickstarter to get some funding because he got made redundant. So the savings that he had for the software kind of got gobbled up by living. Um, I have played a little bit of this already, just to kind of get the feel for it. And I thought, you know what, I'll make a video. I'm going to do it on easy because I suck at this type of game, but hopefully you'll enjoy the video anyway. Um, what I've played so far is really surprising that this is all made by one guy. Like He must have spent like literally every second of his life outside of work kind of pumping it into the game but it's really enjoyable hope you like it let's go I'll let you read this get a gist of what's going on and I will shut up So here we go, loading. The escape pods were remotely disabled and our fighters were outnumbered. I've stabilized her as best I can, but we've only got moments left. Nimrod 7 was the Earth's last surviving escape shuttle, and it's going down! We've lost the war. I made it to the launch bay and assumed control of the Weapon F prototype, sir. What can I do? Good for you, pilot. Weapon F has one heck of a kick. Power up and take out as much of that scum as you can before you're overwhelmed. That's an order. Pilot, if you get really stuck, ask the onboard tactical AI for help. It's a work in progress, but I'm sure it's capable. Good luck! And get them for us. Count on it. Okay. So, you're this little ship, shooting the crap out of stuff. Oh, that's not a good start. I told you I was rubbish. You need to get these little boosts and little floating Bs and Ps and Fs and stuff because Ps are your power-ups which boost your weapon power. And if you look at the top right, I've got five types of weapons. So I've got this front laser beam. I have this one, which is like a bit of a free directional shooting weapon. I have a back shot, a side shot, and a funky, another forward one. Oh, right, you know what? I can't. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna start again. So that's the introduction to the weapons. <laughs> I suck so bad. It's because I was talking. I can't. I struggle to get to like the third chapter with on easy, let alone get first get past that first bit with two lives down. So here we go. I'll stop talking. Well, not stop talking, but you know what I mean. Concentrate is the word. There is also a, f a force field which I I didn't really use. I need to kind of utilize that more, but. Quite enjoyable. There's a lot going on, so you have to kind of think on your feet and be quick. And all right, I'm not going to worry about the B. I'll get the power up. 
put a bit more oomph in my um, weaponry. The visuals are really good, like kind of old school. I like the backdrop as well. The galaxy crumbling, kind of. Oh, oh, fuck. Didn't see it. Shit. That sucked. I missed a power up. Human survivor, surrender your craft and you will be dispatched quickly with a minimum of discomfort. See that the intensity of my laser beam is picked up, which makes it easier to kill the enemy with, which is pretty groovy. Uh. What I want to try and do, yeah, is alternate my power up. Try and get that one leveled up a little bit as well. Oh. Shit. Okay. So yeah, it's like a, a scrolling arcade game. Do your best to avoid the enemy, don't die, and shoot the crap out of stuff, which is really cool. So. A bit more intensity, see, easier to kill stuff. Force field bonus. Bonus. I think there's five levels with like, or five chapters with five boss, five boss levels at the end. And you, are, so on easy mode, <coughs> I've got um, nine lives. On medium or normal, you get five, but it's a case of if you get to kind of chapter three and then you die, you lose all your ships, all your lives. You literally have to go back to the very beginning of chapter one, which is brutal. But I think, I don't know, I dislike it, but I like it at the same time because it makes you want to, uh, makes you want to play on. Oh shit. So I'm down to seven. Seven ships. Which is not good because I've not finished chapter one yet. <laughs> the game is up, Survivor. I'll crush you along with the wreckage of your race. It's time to face the cleaner. So this is a boss. Shoot the middle of the laser beam. Avoid the little fireballs coming out. And get out of the way of its big old laser beam. There you go. Beautiful. Ideally, could have done that without losing two lives, but it's too late now. They're really all gone. I'm the last human alive. What now? Query detected. AI startup sequence initiated. Greetings, pilot. I am Hat Haiti. <laughs> You're on board holographic artificial tactical intelligence. What the? Two minutes alone in the universe, and I'm already hearing voices now. Startup complete. All next generation military craft are equipped with me. I am mainly a statistical machine with access to military tactical data. However, I provide advisory and compassionate functions too. Great, alone in the universe, stuck in a three by five foot tin can, and all I get for company is a half baked holographic head. No offense. None taken. However, your most recent objectives remain incomplete. Records state the most probable location of our enemy to be the planet Terranus <laughs> in Sector 7G. En route, I can formulate a plan of mass destruction. Acceptable? Well, I'd say this for AI bots. You certainly don't waste time. Plan away. In the meantime, I'm going to hit stasis. Terranus, here we come. So that's chapter one. Is it chapter one down? Yeah.
on to chapter two. I think. Farncraft, you have entered the 55th Legion protected airspace. Identify yourself. Repeat, foreign craft, identify yourself immediately or you'll be destroyed. Respond. Subject is found to respond. Initiate defensive protocols. Chapter... Ooh! Chapter 2. I didn't see the name of that because I nearly got killed. Power up. Start focusing on my other weapons in a minute for power ups, I think. Ooh. It's really easy to control, nice and smooth, no. I haven't come across any glitchy bugs or naff errors at the moment, so that's cool. Right, swap. So there's a lot going on on the screen at, at points. You really have to have your wits about you. So now it's gone from three to five directional weapon. Now I've powered that one up. So yeah, just just get your mind around the fact that one dude called Mike he created this whole game. That is pretty impressive. The thing as well for me, I mean this type of game isn't something that I play very often. Um Yeah, Mike initially kind of I came across it on Twitter. Um, yeah, I think he just contacted. That did work out. Oops, shit. Oh, feck. Oh, what? I didn't pause it. Yeah, so anyway, I was on Twitter and stumbled across Mike's account. Um, got chatting and then he kindly offered codes out to to people for the game. And here we are. So I'll, I'm going to do a review of it for the um, developer's accomplice site that I write for. So I'll link that up as well. But the thing that I so say the game... It's not really something that I would kind of play very often, this style, but the thing that really kind of gets me with this is just, like, the story behind it, like how one guy was sort of learning and making a game and saving up for the software that he needed to get it released on Xbox and then as life does sometimes it throws you a curveball but he's put the hard work in, got the Kickstarter program running. I got funded, got the software, and here it is. So he's, you know, he's gone full circle, and obviously being made redundant is a shit thing to happen to anyone. But he's kind of stuck by his project, and there you go. So it's a really kind of good story behind it. You know what I mean? It's just not that there's, you know, there's a big old developer and publisher have released another game. One guy has worked his balls off to get this out on Xbox. So yeah, that's that's what I like about it. So I say we head for the yeah. Sorry, I'll just skip past that, didn't I? Basically, there's a bunch of cities in Terranus, <laughs> and we have to go and hunt them down. And we're going to go and find the biggest one and cause as much havoc as we can. So chapter two is complete. On to chapter three. I've got seven lives, six lives, or oh, six ships. How's it going there, Hat? 
come up with your plan of master scratching yet? So far, we seem to just be scratching the surface of... Whoa! What's that? Looks like some kind of shimmering cloud. It's reminiscent of an insect swarm, and it's heading your way. Brace yourself, Hattie. <laughs> I'm guessing they're not a welcome committee. No. I find this weapon is the best for this bit. So yeah, I'll put a link in the description to um to Mike's Kickstarter program. I mean, you can have a look at it and check the video out and the updates and his blog. And can I link the game on? Or does it just have to literally be on the Xbox Arcade? If I find a link for it where you can kind of get the information and it points you in the right direction, I'll link that in the video description so you can check it all out. But if you can, spare a few minutes and just check out the blog and you can get an idea for what Mike's been through and how he's come out the other end of a shitty situation and got a decent game out on the Xbox. So, and it's only 69p, so just don't go and buy that can of coke or Mars bar or whatever. Just go and go and pick up this little beauty. That'll keep you entertained for a while. Kill these ones from behind. Don't know. Can't seem to kill them. Whoa, shit. So you got a side shot, which I've just powered up. Go back to my main. I don't know how to kill these ones. Let's go for side shot again. Ooh, shit, nearly died there. Power up. Uh, side shot. Actually quite a good one for these things at the bottom of the screen. Stay. Yeah, I think it's this one that I got stuck on actually. The third one. Ooh. Careful of these little rockets as well. Yeah, I mean, it's really enjoyable. Like, just it's fast-paced. It's lots of action on it. Thinking on your toes. Looks good. I mean, all these designs and graphics and audio is all done by Mike. <laughs> it's just like one guy. One guy's made all of this. Very impressive. And hopefully, this will kind of launch, give him a sort of launch pad to make some more games and get get some bigger and better things going for him, so oh, I wish him the best of luck. Let's start powering up this one. I'm not really sure what this... Okay. Oh, so you can just keep your finger down. I've been pressing the button, sort of smashing it, but don't even need to. Oh, what an irony. A little bird from the worm. No, a little bird for the worm. You'll never reach our cityplex, little bird. Prepare to be devoured. Laser. 
Worm boss. my back shot because that's pretty weak. Come on. Die! <laughs> Die, worm. Yes. Alright, dodge your fireballs. Dodge your fireballs. There we go. What a brute. How far to that city, Haiti? Hattie? Whatever you want to pronounce it as. Uh, it is not far now. I'm picking up one common connection for all the enemy cities. There is a complex tunnel network which links them all to something at the centre of the planet. Uh, I'm no scientist, but I've got news for you, Hat. There's nothing living that could survive those planet core kind of temperatures. Pilot, I do not believe that terrain shares the properties of a naturally formed planet. It appears to be some sort of artificial construct like a giant shell protecting a large living entity at its core. Like a big armoured chicken, more like an energy source, but not just that. There is some kind of dark intelligence in the heart of this planet, and at the heart of this ruthless species. I fear that our chances of survival are slim. When we face it, we take that bad boy down, or we go out fighting. We've got the tools, we've got our orders, the earth will be avenged. There's nothing else. Okay, what I'm going to do is end this episode here and we'll carry on next time. So chapter 3 is down. I think there's two more left. Let's see if I can be uh, good enough to complete them without dying. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check the game out in the links, which I'll put in the description for you. Go on Xbox Arcade, give it a purchase, and uh, hit Mike up on Twitter and let him know what you think. Cool. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. So ciao for now. Stay!